Hey guys, Tim here, and today we have a couple of packages from Amazon Japan, so just gonna bust right into these and see what we got. Now, I don't fully remember which manga I ordered this time. Um, I do remember I ordered, uh, the, well, it's not the latest issue of Shonen Jump, now. yeah, yeah, it still is actually because it came out this week, alright, it came out Monday and it's Friday, so, yeah, this is the latest issue. Um, unfortunately, the last issue I got was issue 19, I believe this one is 22 or 23, something like that, so unfortunately, missed a couple of issues there, again, sometimes you just can't get the issues because they sell out so fast online, and I use Amazon Japan, wow, this manga is very strange, alright. Trying to get them in order here. All right, turns out we got Ayakashi Triangle. We have the three mm, volumes that I was missing that. So volume six, volume seven, and volume eight. Can't wait until I can actually start reading these in Japanese without having to very, very slowly look up so many words. Because <laughs> even though um, I'm studying Japanese and I know um, like a thousand, uh, over a thousand kanji and my vocab is probably 2,000 plus already, but even still with all this knowledge, it's still very slow to actually read Japanese and have to look up so many things because it's still not really there. Like they say, uh, in order to be um, kind of fluent in Jap, well, kind of fluent in any language, I guess, it's the 10,000 sentence approach and you need to know around 10,000 sentences in order to be able to comprehend most everything except for like specialized topics like, um, astrophysics or something like that something that would be specialized or like um, JRPG terminology and stuff stuff that you wouldn't pick up um, usually unless it, you was into that specialized field but anyway a few manga volumes here not a whole lot this time um, for anyone curious what the shipping rates are um, getting these from Japan I actually paid for the expedited shipping like the fastest that they offer so um, it's a bit more for me. It's about five dollars more than your standard um, economy or whatever shipping from Amazon Japan. So, um, but anyway, for all of this, like three manga volumes and um, an issue of Weekly Jump, it was right at um, forty U.S. dollars. So that's actually a really good price because I believe Seven Seas is going to be publishing this in English. I'm not exactly sure. I believe. Viz owns the rights, but they wasn't going to do the physical release. They only did the digital release. And I believe Seven Seas is going to uh, publish Ayakashi Triangle in English. And those volumes would be probably 13 to $14 a piece. I'm not sure what they run now because I don't buy English manga anymore except for a couple of series. But um, these were like around $4 each. So you have your three manga volumes, which is around $15. And... You have your Shonen Jump issue, which is, what did this issue run? Sometimes it fluctuates um, in price depending on how much paper is used. 290 yen, so about $2.50 for this. So the rest of that shipping, it does cost a bit more in shipping than the actual product that you buy, but still $40 for all of this. If you were to buy the equivalent of English for this, it would be more than that. You have your three volumes, which would probably be around $45 for your manga now. It'd probably be around, no, it wouldn't be $45. That's um, Yen Plus, like some of their series are, oh, well, Yen Press, some of their series are actually like $15, $16, $17, I believe even up to $18 now for a single volume, which is insane, and there's no way I would pay that for it nowadays whenever I can just buy them in Japanese. Uh, and then this would probably be, if they were to still publish your Shonen Jump and it be this thick, this is about twice as thick as your, um, what the English issues were at the time, like years ago, 2012 and before, so it'd probably be around $10 for your, for an issue of this now. If they were to have an English equivalent of this with this much content in it, it would probably be around $10, so, um, it's actually much cheaper to buy all this stuff and import it all the way from Japan than to buy the English equivalents if they were to have equivalents of all of this in English. But anyway, um, I'm not really sure what's in this issue. Which issue is this? Is this the... Well, that's pretty cool. I'm going to try to show this off. Ayakashi Banashi, which is one of the series that I was reading. I've read the first eight or so chapters, I believe. I'm quite a bit behind. They're already on 
chapter 12, good lord. It's hard to keep up with everything, but it got the color spread this month, all well, this week, so that's that's really cool. What about um, One Piece? Where's One Piece in it this time? Uh, Mission Yozakura Family has a color spread this time, so that's pretty cool. As well as, well, it's a promotion for Witch Watch, but um, anyway, those are two manga that I do want to get into. Might actually start importing them next since I called up on Ayakashi Triangle. Good lord, where is One Piece? Surely it's not in the back. Wow, Undead Unluck. Undead Unluck got a color spread as well. Quite a few color spreads in this one. Well, color page. Oh wow. Don't tell me One Piece was on break this week. It may have actually been. Uh, actually, yeah. I, nope, there it is. We got the One Piece. Which one is this one? 1048. And I believe the spoilers are out for 1049 already. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1049 spoilers are already out. They came out like a day or two ago. So, yeah. Nothing too important there. But anyway, this video is going to drag out longer and I don't have a lot of stuff to show. So, three new manga volumes. Um, Ayakashi Triangle. If you're going to buy it in English, I guess you can buy it in English. I don't know if it's going to be censored in English or not. I know if... I know Viz was censoring some stuff, I believe, or they did some bad translations, or they didn't bring over some chapters. I want to say, like, the initial, like, chapter one they didn't bring over or something like that. Like, they've skipped some chapters Viz has, so maybe Seven Seas. I believe they're publishing it. Again, I don't keep up too much with English publishers anymore, but, um, yeah, I get to add this one to the list. And that one was issue 23 for the year, so I have five six issues is what I've been able to secure for the year so far um, pretty big gaps in between um, but anyway Japan might be opening next month for tourism so that's something else to look forward to so may not be buying these as much anymore just because I could save that like forty dollars that I spend on manga and Shonen Jump every week I could use that to be saving for Japan as well and actually go over there and buy the stuff and it would probably be even cheaper that way I can buy the stuff over there and gonna ship it back. I'd probably use EMS or something, or probably wouldn't use SAL. I'd pay for whatever I thought was secure enough. But anyway, that's it for the video. I will see you in the next one. Later.